Hello everyone and welcome to the Hot You channel. Today we're going to have so much fun. We're going to be diving into our Amazon favorite finds or Amazon just life hacks, things that I can't live without. I'm definitely jumping on the bandwagon of the Amazon video trend. Uh, I love to go through those and watch those. They're so fun. So I thought, why not do one for my favorites? Um, I haven't, I'm, they're not what I've already seen out there. It's really what I personally use every single day and like can't live without, like got it from Amazon. Yes, locked in, check, get it. Um, this video is not sponsored by Amazon anyway, but I will have everything I talk about in the links in the description below. I might possibly make a small fee if you use the link, so no pressure whatsoever, but if you're already planning to shop these items, please go ahead and use that link to support our channel. And if you're new here, please hit that like, subscribe, join the family, and let me know what else you'd like to see in the future. So first, this is not like a must have, but the shirt I'm wearing here is from Amazon. I just think it's super cute and simple and cropped. And the reason why I like it, honestly, is because it says moon on it and I'm a Sailor Moon fan. So if you know, you know, and let's just get that out of the way. I have a couple Sailor Moon items as well. This mug. If you're a Sailor Moon fan, like, just go get it. Just go get the mug. It's so like high quality, nicely made. Also, my water bottle. I have been loving water after getting this. I know that's a really weird thing. Like now you love water? Yes, because it's been a Sailor Moon insulated mug. And the problem with Sailor Moon products is that they are usually plastic and then you don't want your water in that all day, but this is all stainless steel. And so that way you can put hot drinks in here, ice drinks in here, it stays insulated, has a cute little cap for not messing up your lip gloss. And super secure, even has a little lock here. So this would also be really cute for girls, like like little girls to give as a gift, but if you're a Sailor Moon fan, like, it is a must have. So now that we got those things out of the way, let's get into the life hacks of things that everybody needs. Okay, I so I decided let's start with the nails. I actually did myself, I know, I did these last night and I think they look super profesh um, and you're saving yourself a lot of money. These are actually what's called dip nails. So if you're going to salon and get your nail dip nail done, this is your real nail, your real nail length. You can do fake tips, um, but I do real, real nail length. And this is a, a dip powder. So they're very strong, they're not gonna break, and they give you that salon quality look. Now, when I was going to get my nails done at the salon, I would say you're gonna be spending $50 on average with the price, the tip, all that stuff. So I am cheap, I like to save money. Um, I know some people might like going to the nail salon, but for me, it's like I wasn't gonna go if it's that expensive. So I found a nail hack, and I've been getting all my friends on this. It's like a must, especially with like quarantine and you not wanting to go to salons and stuff like that. There are a lot of nail kits out there. It's hard to know where to start. This one is by far the, my favorite. It's on Amazon. It's GH Dip. It comes with everything you need. You have the one, two, three, four. So you have all the steps that you need. You have um, six different powders. That's missing one in here because I've changed them around, but these are the powders that it would come with. And so what you do is you put a layer down and you dip it in the powder and it's really self-explanatory. They help explain it to you. And of course it takes some practice being good at your nails and painting your own nails and doing it. There'll be a small learning curve, but it's totally worth it because then eventually you get this. Now, store all of my nail kit items. This is called a caboodle. This helps you stay organized. You can carry it with you if you're on the go and it's just super freaking cute. This is my favorite color. This is like a jelly glitter, like Barbie-esque. They have so many different styles, but this is my hands down favorite color of the style. So you just take this off and look how nicely that opens and folds and organizes it. And let me open this little lid here. Okay. 
this here has a mirror, a spot for all of your small items, a ledge for all your nail polishes. As you see, I have the kit that I used in here. And I have nail polish remover, just little odds and ends as you're getting your nails kit together. So you're really like a pro, like salon on the go. You can even do your friend's nails. Okay, so the color that I'm wearing is not from the first kit I showed you. Even though the first kit is like bomb colors, I really do like them. This is my favorite color of all friggin' time. Okay, this one, Kiera Sky. And the color is Eyes on the Prize. I will drop this in the links below and everything else I'm talking about here. This color, like that Barbie glitter pink, just like the nail box, slightly see-through, looks very like flesh tone, like your skin. It's just ugh, so freaking gorgeous. So this color is a must. Like this color, this kit, get both, get them right now. Thank me later. And the last thing that I think is really noteworthy that I got from Amazon from my nail kit is this nail cuticle oil. It's like a milk and honey cuticle oil. And the reason why I like it is one, it's super cute. And as you see, it could fit like easily right in my kit. But when you are taking these nails off, you are soaking your nails in um, acetone to get them off. And I find my nails to be dry after that process, so I just, soak my, my nails and cuticles and hands in this after and it like immediately fixes the problem I'm having. And then you can always go in like right now and put little dots just on the root of the cuticle. That helps your natural nail stay healthy under the dip nail that you've done. It helps your nail just kind of live, breathe, um, I don't know about you, but when I go to the nail salon, my favorite part is at the end when they give you this nail oil. So why not have your own? So this is your caboodle and that's it for the nail category. Next, let's move on to hair since we're already kind of in that realm, the self-care beauty realm. When you are doing a hair mask, it's you wanna get some heat to open up your cuticles. This is just a simple heat cap. I will drop the link below, but from Tifara, and this just, you put it in the microwave for um, 90 seconds, and then you just put it on your head, walk around, half hour, hour, your hair doesn't drip, it's super uh, secure, and it opens up your cuticles. So this, this is the easiest way for me to do a deep conditioning hair mask. So this, again, is one of my must items. Now this is my hair game changer item. I have very kinky, curly hair. Um, when I went natural, my biggest issue was when I'm in the shower trying to detangle my hair, it was a long, difficult process where I like wanted to cry after being in the tub for an hour just trying to finger detangle my hair. And then I saw this, which is called the Denman brush. The Denman brush, I literally thought it was just kind of hype. How's a brush really gonna help? Like I've tried brushes, I've tried combs, I've tried wide tooth combs. This just soaks the hair and combs through it and just goes through those knots and those tangles. And I kid you not, this has cut my detangling time into half. Like, I kid you not. You need, if you're a curly haired girl or you don't like stressing your hair out when detangling it, you need a Denman brush, just get it, don't wait. I'm assuming you, like, you probably already have one, but if you don't, get it. But this is part of my hair pack. Um, these are Mulberry Silk Hair Ties. Silk hair ties can get pretty expensive. I just really love the price of these on Amazon. They were super affordable. And um, you want silk because it helps protect your hair from breakage. You see how big and stretchy this is? It could be your protective style hair. It could be just cute in a bun or a ponytail, but it comes in a three pack and it's just like a must have if you're gonna have silk hair ties. You don't want them to be super expensive. I just love these, they work really good. This is the black, but it comes with a three pack. Okay, let's see. That's it for hair. Next, let's move on just to a couple little 
makeup hacks. I think this is more like organization for makeup. So these makeup brands I really love. I love the Bobbi Brown Skin Serum Foundation. It's super healthy and light and dewy. And same with the, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Filter. These are dewy, nice foundations. The problem with each of these is that one, this is super big and chunky and heavy. And with this product, it doesn't have a pump. It is a applicator. That is not super sanitary to put onto your skin and then back in. Um, it's not the end of the world, but you def I definitely prefer my products in a pump. So I recently, it's probably my newest find, just found these bottles on Amazon. I got two for eight bucks and they are super nice. Comes with a pump. This is the perfect travel size, fit in your makeup bag. You transfer the products from your favorite uh, product where you don't really care for the container and just put them in here and use this. As you could see, it's half the size, it's half the weight, and also it comes with a pump. So I thought this was a really nifty little trick. And next I have these little bags. I got 50 of these in the pack. These are like, you know, you've seen them everywhere. They're just that cute little, it could be a gift um, bag. It can be for organization. I like to put my lip glosses in them. It helps you separate them. You can easily store them in your makeup bag for travel, under your bathroom cabinet, or you can give these out as gifts to people. Like how cute is this to give someone some skincare or lipstick or lip gloss in one of these? And I really like this size. I know there's a lot out there. Some are just way too small. They're like for like candy or something. So this to me was that universal size where I could fit almost anything I want into it. Not too big, not too small. And trust me, I ordered like a couple and these were the ones I decided to stay with. So these bags, super cute and handy. And for skincare, there's a ton of skincare you can get on Amazon. And most of the skincare that's on Amazon is also on other sites. So I don't want to spend too much time because I could do a whole nother video on skincare alone. And if you want that, just like drop that in the comments below and I could go through my favorite skincare routine with you. But a quick thing from Amazon that everyone needs to have for their skincare routine. And I don't care if you have a skin routine, you don't have a skincare routine. Everyone gets pimples or blemishes once in a while. And when you do get a blemish, you need what's called pimple stickers. Pimple stickers are not all created equal, right? Some are going to uh, work better. Some stay in your face, some you can see, some you can't. Um, some are very expensive. What I like about this specific brand is it's only $7. It's from Korea, which Korea already has the lock on skincare. And they come with a hundred of them, so when I got these, I'd work, I didn't have super high hopes for them, but they actually work so well. They're very nicely made. They make it really easy to get the pimple stickers off. I've had some that are very difficult to pull off. This has like a great technology where you can just peel this out of the way and grab your pimple sticker. And then here it is. I mean, I don't, have a huge active pimple right now but if I did I would just place it somewhere on my chin leave it there and go about your day um, now that we're wearing masks you wouldn't even know that you have a pimple sticker on with the mask or you can just wear it at home or wear it when you're sleeping it catches all the icky stuff all of the unmentionables but it's gonna suck it right out of it help dry it out help it protect it, help it from getting bacteria into it, help it heal better, get less acne scars. You're gonna poke it less because you have that. So you can do that to stop yourself from popping it or if you've already popped it, bad, but I do that too. Um, if you've already popped it, you cover it up after, help cover everything that's still coming out. I know that's gross, too much information, but again, uh, the reason why I like this is you get a hundred, so you can use these like guilt-free, use as many as you want. I even give it to my husband and he uses it here and there. So um, it's for everyone, it's great. So we're almost out of the beauty. I'm just gonna touch on one piece of jewelry. You should know what a name necklace is. These are super popular and classic. So my family last name, I just recently got married, is Haya. I know, Haya is like crazy last name, but it's real. 
Valera last name. So I got this name necklace made. You'll see it in a lot of my videos. This is a real um, gold version that I had custom made. But before I was ready to commit to a gold name necklace, I went through Amazon and I got the name necklace just made for only $12. And the reason why I recommend going through Amazon first to buy your name necklace would be because I don't think you'd be ready to uh, commit to buying a $150 name necklace until you know for sure you love name necklaces. Like for example, I wanted one in this length, I saw it, and then I realized it's too long. Um, so I wore this for a while. Of course, it's a little bit faded by now. The point isn't to keep these and wear them forever, like unless you want to, but it's to see, do I want this length? Do I want something shorter? Do I want my last name? Do I want my first name? Do you want your nickname? You get to spend time with it and really know, and really know what you um, want before getting it. So like I said, I'll put in the link below for Amazon for how I ordered my original name necklace and then eventually go ahead and get yourself maybe a real gold necklace if you like love it, if it brings you joy. Okay, so let's start getting into some home items. I have a couple home items here and then we're gonna take you into my kitchen to show you the rest. So this is a de-lint, de-linter, de-fuzzer. De I don't even know what you guys call it, but this is a must friggin have trust me um, a lot of clothes starts to look old and dingy and fuzzy and it doesn't matter if you go over it with a lint roller it's never gonna look clean so I'm gonna give you an example these shorts if you look on the front these shorts look pretty smooth from the front right on the back where you sit down look at those freaking fuzzies like that's just awful it makes this piece look just done for, like you don't want it anymore. So what the D fuzzer does is it has a little blade in there and you take it over the fuzz, turn it on. And it helps cut all these fuzzies off. You can do it on leggings, you can do it on literally any fabric that needs this cut down. Um, I'm not gonna do the whole shorts right now, but just showing you an example of how one spot we've already got ourselves a new pair of shorts compared to that. Like, amazing. So, the reason why I recommend this specific one is because this one is actually rechargeable. It comes with a charging cord. The reason why I recommend rechargeable, most that you buy will recommend batteries. I had those. The batteries would die after almost every use because it takes so much power to run it that the batteries would just be done. And I'd have to keep putting in new batteries, new batteries until the, until the thing just broke, like didn't even work anymore. So I wanted a rechargeable one that I can use I can, you can use it when you're plugging it in, when it's charging, or you can just get it fully charged and go around your house and like just hit everything and then put it back on the charger when it dies. So this thing, game changer, you need this. If you don't have it, get it now, see me later. Okay, so that is the first part I have for you. Let's move on into the kitchen so I can show you some of our home goods that we also got from Amazon. Oh, you're following me? Okay, let's walk. So now we are in our kitchen and I'm going to show you some of our must-haves for the kitchen. So first things first, the tea that I'm drinking today is Yogi Breathe Deep. This is my all-time favorite tea. Um, I have tried a lot and this tea has a slightly sweet taste. 
um, that is not from added sugar, it's not from putting honey in your tea. So if you were like trying to get away from adding sweeteners to your tea, this is a great way to start because it has a naturally sweet taste from I, I believe the licorice root that they put in here. And it is bomb, oh my God, it's so cozy. This is what you need. It also helps with immunity support. They do sell these teas, these yogi teas at like New Seasons and Whole Foods, but they're like $5 a pack, which isn't bad when you think about it. When you go to the store, you're paying $5 just to get one tea. But when you buy these in bulk, this is the six pack, it comes out to something like $3.50 a tea. I paid about $23. So to me, that was worth it because I will drink through every single one of these packs. Me and my husband and my guests and everyone, we will drink this. So yes, try this tea. Um, next, these are all things I got from Amazon to make my matcha lattes. Uh, the first thing you need is obviously matcha. This one is one of the brands that I have tried out from Amazon, I highly recommend. And what you do, you scoop it into a bowl, you add a couple dabs of powder. And then you wanna add your hot water. And you take your whisk, I got this from Amazon. And you're just going to make this into a matcha paste. I'm gonna add a scoop of organic raw honey and sweetened to taste. And that's it. You have literally made matcha. Now, you can pour this over whatever you like. Some hot water, some hot milk, cold milk, and this is where our milk frother comes in handy. You can easily heat up some milk and froth it and get it to be like a real latte from a coffee shop. You warm this milk up, all it is, is I pour a little of this into the milk frother and literally just one button. All right, so all we did was start the frother and it automatically stops on its own. It will warm the milk to a drinkable temperature and see that nice frothy foam. And I like to serve it in this jar here. Um, as far as having a traveling mug that is um, you know, very responsible, you don't wanna have plastic straws and uh, plastic um, disposable uh, traveling mugs. So this is super cute. It makes you feel like you're actually in the coffee shop and you can have iced, hot, whatever you like here in your mug. And then if you're not having it, if you're having it at home, like you're already set, but if you're on the go, you just add your little, this comes with it, your lid, your straw, everything. It's a four pack. You get four of these, four lids, four straws from Amazon and you take this on the go and you enjoy your matcha latte, your regular latte, chai latte, whatever you want. Your lemon water, it's up to you. So I'm going to transfer the milk to our jar. Pour it all to get all that foam. And then you're going to pour the sweetened matcha paste just on top of the milk. We have that super cute green. You can just mix it up. Oh my gosh, my stomach's growling because I want to try this so bad. Can you hear it? <laughs> All right, so mix it up. It's green, it's frothy. Oh, it's so good. You guys, don't pay for a matcha at a coffee shop for $6 when you could just do this. You save a lot of money. And it's super tasty, it's to your exact specifications or how you like to drink matcha. So that's why I think these are like must-haves from Amazon, must. And you could, like I said, replace the matcha for chai, get your lattes, anyway. So good. Okay, so last item we're going to do for the kitchen is these bamboo divider drawers. Now, when you organize your drawers, 
but they always kind of slip and slide around if you don't have the exact right organizer size for the drawers. So this one is adjustable to the size of your drawer, wherever it fits, it's going to adjust. So let me show you how I just recently added these to my kitchen and how it's been helping me organize. So it came with a pack of four. I've only put in two so far. I'm still kind of organizing the rest, but right here we have a drawer and this thing here just kept sliding around. I just added this here. And as you can see, it just kind of stops my drawer from moving around too much. It also creates another section in the back for storage. So I showed my husband this the other day and he was like, oh my God, I love it so much. He's like, this is just so much more organized. Or you can use it to split up your drawer into different sections. Like I have very deep drawers as you can see. So this divider here gives me two separate drawers that aren't gonna slip and slide around too much. Um, the more you add, the more sections you'll have. So as you see, like this is not where I have it right now, but this is how you apply it into your drawer. And it's that simple. We literally have drawer sections now. So you can get as many as you want. I had to go um, horizontally because my drawers are so big, they don't fit vertically. So yours could just go whichever way they fit into your drawers. Um, it's just really nice. All right guys, well, that is it. That concludes our Amazon finds, favorites, must haves. I went through my Amazon list and pulled out, oh, I love that, I love that, I love that. I only gave you what truly I love and brings me joy. So I hope that you guys try some of these items and it brings you joy as well. Um, if you plan on ordering or you do order from this list, can you please drop in the comment below and let me know what it is that looks appealing to you? What did you use? What worked for you? Or maybe drop in your Amazon finds. And then if you guys love this, let me know if you want a part two. I'm sure I can always find more Amazon favorites for you. I'm always ordering and uh, we can go through these again. I had so much fun. Thank you. See you next time. Bye guys.